Well, good morning. It's a beautiful sunrise and we're over here in Far Hills and we have a few adventures that we're going to do today. A little bit of hiking, a little bit of exploring, some historical stuff. That is beautiful. Seven Bumps Road and Jacob's Ladder. Okay, so we're off Penbrook Road, and that is called the Devil's Tomb. Okay, we're over here at Schiff Preserve. And the trailhead is right down there. Girls are getting out of the car. We're gonna check this place out a little bit. All right. 
right, let's head in. It is a chilly morning. but it's supposed to get up to about 58 today. You see the stairs? Yeah. Careful because this is slippery. Sure. Okay, we're going to be coming by the stairs. It's a little muddy over here. Look at those stairs from here. It just looks like a drop off. Let me turn my camera around. There's the stairs, and it looks just like it just drops off, but it doesn't. Okay, here we go. Turn this around. Feel that? Yeah. 
Lebis Dodd House, 1750. Lebis Dodd, captain in the Morris County Militia during the Revolution, also renowned craftsman, noted for his clocks and mathematical instruments. Pretty interesting. And that is the house right here. District of Mendham, 1742. Logan's grist mills supplied food to Washington's troops during Jockey Hollow encampment. John Ralston, early industrialist, occupied the Manor House 1786 to 1819 and operated the general store, subsequently a post office of 1892 to 1941. And I want to show you this. This is really cool. Ralston General Store, 1780. That's the original over there. I'm going to try to get across the street so that you can see it. That's it, right there. That is really neat. That is pretty. All right, let's go around to the side. You could tell they had a flag there at one point. Yeah. And when you don't, it's like I should. Oh, it's really nice. And this is the back. Got one window back here. Right there. So here's the grist mill, right here. Now obviously somebody's living in it now, not really a pretty building. It says 1732. Let me try to zoom in on that date. So this is pretty neat. It's the Black Horse Inn, farmhouse home of Ebenezer Byram, one of Mendham's founding fathers. In 1742, opened as tavern to travelers in continuous operation as hostelry over 200 years. That's pretty neat. And this is the building, guys. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. Let me zoom out. This is the building. Okay, over here used to be a grist mill. Ralston Historic District 1727. Cider Mill. Built as stone grist mill by John Nesbitt around 1848. Purchased about 1908 by Thomas Loglin for distillery which produced Tiger. Applejack until prohibition. Interesting. So here's an old building right here, Burnchester, but uh, not really sure because there's no historic marker. But you can see the size of it and how small it is. But um, let me look in the window. Check 
Chester, New Jersey. Uh, it's hard to say what this was. Let's see the floor. It's too bad there's no marker on it. Big area. Huh. It's interesting in the back. Look at that big door. Okay, so it does tell what it is. This building is named for the local Rockefeller family who formed the AC Rockefeller Family Orchestra. Built between 1868 and 1887, the tiny building has been used a, a, post used a marble yard office, a post office, a horse dealer office, isn't that funny? Yeah. A card and gift shop, wow. a bicycle shop, and it, oh, that's cool. So we are in the town of Long Valley, and that looks like Metzer's Tavern? Metzer. 1765? Two or five. I okay. Can't tell. And here's the town, which we're going to go see. Looks like an old grist mill that way. And those buildings um, sparked our interest over there as we were coming down. And we're going to go up and see them. Chesapeake Tavern, too. All Although over here, Careful. there's no uh, marker on it or anything, but we're just going to go up and see what it is. You can see it's falling apart. Wow, it's about to be coming down. It's next to the South Branch Raritan River. Ooh, look at that car, huh? It's like a 57 truck. The car. Yeah. Look at the back of the building, the side. Wow. Okay. This part over here is pretty old. These buildings are pretty old. We're over here by uh, Schooly Mountain Road, too. So this building over here, I particularly like these right here. That building. And I want to get over there to that sign. A bit busy here. So this was a uh, grist and sawmill. I really like this building. This is my favorite, right over here. It says Ob Obadiah Lateret Grist and Sawmill, Washington Township Land Trust, 1750. So I want you to get a good look at that. And then what I want to do is go over there and see what that sign says. Gotta be careful. to the road. Look at this. Look how it's right up to the road. That's pretty cool. Obadiah, Torret, Christ, and Sawmill. This mill is listed on the state and national registers of historic places as a contributing property in the German Valley Historic District. Built 1750 and owned by Philip Wise, the mill was essential to the economy and development of German Valley and the surrounding agricultural community. For much of its history, it was the most successful business in the village, grinding grain and producing flour and animal feed. A sawmill was located behind the grist mill during the 1800s. Originally powered by two water wheels, the mill was converted to turbine power by owner Obadiah Latourette in the 1870s. The milling operation continued until the early 1940s. Most of the machinery remains reflecting the history of milling 
over 200 years ago. In 1991, the Washington Township Land Trust purchased the building and embarked upon its restoration with the aid of volunteers, grants, and generous donations. So this is it. And it is so cool. I love this building. Look, you can see that's probably the original thing that had yeah. web or rope or Yeah, to down. hoist stuff up. Yeah, right there. So this is it. And notice how it's right up on the road. Picture a nice dirt road coming through here. Very nice. That looks like an old house over there. Let me just get the side of this. Oh, you can see the water down there too. Oh, wow. We ought to see if we could go back there actually. So. All right. Wow. Wow. You could tell it's really old. Yeah. So maybe they had to pay a toll? Is that what there is? I don't know. Let me see. Okay. Oh, Toll House for Washington Turnpike. Yeah, I bet you. 1810. That is so cool. Yeah, I bet you they did. I'm going to try to back up so you guys could see what this house looks like. See the creek down there. Eighteen ten. It's your toll house. No, but we could probably go down by this parking area and go in the back. It's rumping. it out. You can see the back over here, girls. Come here. That's really neat. And you can walk? Oh my goodness, careful. Alright. You can walk like right besides all the sticky stuff here. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, isn't that really cool? Alright. Let me see if I can walk over here. Yeah. That's pretty neat. This building right here on the corner, I'm thinking at one time was a firehouse. That's what I'm thinking. Right 
over here off of Schoolies Road. I just want to show you this. This is really neat. This is the Old Stone Union Church from 1774. Look at these graveyards over here. That's an old historic museum, by the way, too. Let me come over here and read this to you. Boy, what a sight, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, you guys could just stay right there. Okay. The Old Stone Union Church, 1774. The site of the pastorate of Henry M. Muhlenberg, DD, known as the father of Lutherism in America. That is so cool. Look at that. That is, wow. Isn't that something? Yeah, there's the pulpit right there. Wow, let's check this out. So this is where he preached from. I mean, you know, they put it out here or whatever. Oh, very cool. Oh, those buried in the Union Church Cemetery. So this tells you all the people from the 1700s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want. That's okay. A lot of people here from the 1700s. Yeah. If you don't mind. I can't reach down. Thank you, Kim. So look at these old uh, gravestones. And um, this is this is right off of Schoolies Road. Thank you. Let's go over here and look. And then we can look at some of these gravestones. Wow. That is so cool. I wonder what the history is of how this got in such bad shape like this. Right? Look at these. Some of these you can't even see. The, um, the writings on them because they're so old in the 1700s. This one, 1812. Right up over there is Schoolies Mountain. Let's look back here and I'll be able to show you the back of it. Like I said, you can't even read some of this. This is how old it is. So much history here. 1844. He was only, um, looks like uh, 58 when he died. That's young. Yes, let me back up. That's a pretty awesome sight. This is 1799. 1700s. Wow. That's 1804 back there. In memory of Christopher, looks like Hoffman, who was born the second day of May 1746 and departed this life the 20th September 1804, aged 58 years, four months, and 18 days. Funeral text in the, it's hard to read. Wilden of Solomon, fifth chapter and fifth verse. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? This one's pretty good, you could read it. This is 
This person, Sophia, she was born in 1772 and died in 1864. Just think of all the people that sat in here at one time. Seventeen eighty one. Anyway, it does give you all the names of the people in here. I'm not going to go through this though, but it's pretty interesting. It's all wet, and I really don't want to get that wet. I leave you with this site right off the road. That's pretty cool. How many times do you come across something like that? 1774. Okay, so this historical museum used to be a schoolhouse. And there's the bell. So the German Valley School Bell, between 1830 and 1886, this bell rang from a belfry on top of this building when it served as a school. Very neat. School time. <laughs> oh. Hey, look at this. That's pretty neat. Isn't it? Yeah. It's obviously some kind of tool for something. Sure. Just think of all the kids that yeah, come and gone. But you know, I bet you a lot of these kids probably went to that church too. Right there. Mm -hmm. Probably even buried yeah. in this grave well, site. This is yeah. as old. They don't want you sitting on it. No. It's as old as the place is. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You really can't see and they have good no. screens. But it does say to check out the website. Yeah, I guess so. Probably tell you a lot more information about it. See, right next to the church. Girls, come back here. Because I remember the grooves in here too. We're going up Squeeze well, Mountain. A, there's um, remnants of something there. All right. The Lodge Squeeze Mountain County Park. And I do know they have some trails over here too. Oh, that's water over there. So we're just going to park. We're going to park right over there. Mm -hmm. And there looks like a trailhead. That's pretty. Look, there's a house over there. All right, let's see what this says. It 
Looks like a trail map up here. Yeah. So that's Schoolies Mountain and County Park, and there's your your trail guide right there. This is nice. Alright, I gotta get down there and cross. Alder Gorge Trail. This will take you to Loray Chapel and the falls. They actually have church here. This is Loray's Chapel. You have a chapel right here in the woods. Check that out. Isn't that cool? There's your pews. And there's your pulpit. Look at this. Wow. You know, I guess you could have church here. Look at the pulpit. There's your congregation right there. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. So it's Laurie <laughs> Chapel, 1944.
dare I'm walking down this way. But I don't think he's gonna make It looks like some type of foundation yeah. that was here. And it looks like Kim noticed this like a wheel. It's like a metal. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah right there. Look at that. That was a, a bridge. Mm -hmm. And it's stopped with trout. That's nice. See right there, and this is where the trail would go. Right there, this way. Now it's a trail. Yeah. Look at all the foundation right there. Yeah, I could see it. Even on the other oh, side over there. there, look at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. yeah. Was that another bridge of some kind? That's we, probably we, the bridge we. That's could the see. bridge that was over there. Yeah, we saw, and then that's the continuation. Right over there. And right up right over up that way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The trees just grow right out of it.
rains. Yeah, you can see it. That's old too. There's another one down here to the left. I mean, you're going to see it all the way down because this was train tracks at one time. Part of where maybe the stuff was. Yeah. Like a well or something with water in there, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And then there's something over there. See? Wow. Yeah. Look in the here. Look, this right is here, that's the railroad ties with all that moss over it. You could see it. That's where they tossed them. Got more railroad ties over here. Look at this. Over there too, girl. You have them all thrown all over here. You got all the moss all over it. Yeah. Something for the railroads. Wow, they just tossed them aside. They just tossed them aside. Is that shells down there? That looks like shells. I could be wrong. Looks like shells. Doesn't it look like shells? It's probably just rock, but it does look like shells. What does that say over there? It says BD6. Look at that pole. Just leaning. And then on the other side it says MB66. driving down the road and we noticed this gas station now I have a thing for old gas stations I don't know what it is but I just like old gas stations so let me turn this around and show you our find Whew, look at that there's your old gas station right on the side of the road two pumps look at these pumps two green pumps you're telling me look at this this is your old gas station is that Texaco? Does that say Texaco? Lion Super Extra. Wow. Isn't that something else? Yeah. Flying gasoline. I, I don't know. Maybe it's Texaco. I don't know. Flying gasoline. Schmitz. What does that say? Schmitz hot. Smitch beer. So. What was this? This was like a bar. It had beer in here and a gas station. How many yeah. times do you see that? Right. You see how? It is with the, um, this is awesome. What? Let me just go around over here so I could show people. Come over here, Kim. This is a great find. Look at the old car back there. Wow. I wonder if somebody's like living here. Anyway, we're not really gonna go on this property because I don't know if somebody's living here yeah it does look like it but there's an old station wagon back there but it's, it looks like it's all abandoned but yeah this is really cool look at right on the side of the road over here yeah. you have these two gas pumps nice lime green over here right. with this it does have a camera. yeah it does that's okay we're only we're only looking cool. wave at the camera this must have been the sign that's the square sign yeah that said how much it was. Yeah, pretty neat. Is there anything? No, you're not gonna look at. There's the old Venetian one, nice and thick. I'm pretty impressed with that. I like that. Yeah. Let me just get it from across the street. People could see it. That's what the building looks like. Isn't that neat? 
Okay, we're on Belvedere right now, and I want to show you this tree because this tree is really interesting. The town fought to keep this tree here. It's a few hundred years old. Not really too sure. Let's read this. It's called the shoe tree. Fearful country folk sat under this tree to put on shoes before going to worship across the village green. So the town folk all fought to keep this tree here. It's a really interesting tree. As you can see, it's like the roads here. Let me just get a better perspective for you. You can see it's a pretty old tree. I don't know what is this, a hundred two, three hundred? How old do you know? It's gotta be a few hundred years old. That's what I'm saying. to 1964. Go around, go around this way. Oh, you can see over here some damage was done to the tree. Well, we just wanted to show you this tree because we were passing by here and a few years back we came through this way and visited this tree and we wanted to show you guys the shoe tree. This is the it's Belvedere the Hotel. <laughs> We're in the town of Belvedere right now. But this is a pretty famous hotel. It's the Hotel Belvedere, established in 1831. So I just wanted to show you. It's pretty big. Look at the size of it. Goes all the way down. Let's see if I could zoom that in. Right over there, here's the sign right there. So that was probably a grist mill, it's right by the water down there. It's an old building. That tree looks pretty old too. Over here in Belvedere. Still in Belvedere, but we came across this old fire station I wanted to show you. It's all the way in the back. Let me read this to you. It says up here, 1882, Goodwill Fire Company, and then 1924, number one, by the way. So there you have it. here in Port Murray and I wanted to show you this old train station. Boy, that is a nice building.
me see if I can climb up here. A little bit hard, you're gonna get a reflection. I don't think you're gonna see anything. Look at this candlelight is still on. You can see over here there was a platform. Ah, oh, this is this is really neat. That is a beautiful building. Actually looks like that door is not totally shut. It's just like hanging on there. I'm not going to open it or anything, but Did you girls notice that platform over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's down over there? Is there a creek? Uh, not, not really much to look at. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, garbage. Just, yeah. okay. Looks like a little bit of a foundation over there for whatever this was. And then you have uh, this platform over here. Would have been. down the road and we come across this little school. This is a pretty neat find. Carsville School. We got roads over here. 1845.
further down from this school is a petty barn, Teeter Town Preserve Nature Center and it has lots of trails. I'm actually looking over here and it looks like somebody left their keys. I hope they find them. There's lots of trails back there. They have a little lake, um, some trout, and this is the trails. Oh, they got Campground Park in town. Farm section of the Teeter Town Preserve. There is a lot of hiking trails down here. Yeah, this will take you down by the lake. So quiet. If you look over in that section over there, there's like a little river of rocks over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh man. And here's the lake down here. like you can kayak. Trout stopped. Oh, this is nice. See that river of rocks right there.
Okay, over here we have some remains of a kiln. Let me read this history marker to you and show you. It is right here. 19th century lime kiln. Here farmers burned limestone which was crushed into powder and spread on fields to sweeten the soil. And here it is. Taylor's Mill, a village on the National Register of Historic Places. The site of Colonel John Taylor's Grist Mill, 1760. Wow. That is really neat. You could even go inside of it. Oh, I wouldn't. I, I would. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, that thing right there. It is one of that. came across this nice bridge. Oh, there's also a deer hiding out in there. Oh, there's a few of them. Okay, let me zoom in. Right there, over there. Okay. This is the Taylor's Mill Historic District. This is pretty. English settler John Taylor established a grits mill, 1760, approximately 0 0.7 miles downstream on Taylor's Mill Road. That's what we just came by. The mill supplied flour to American troops during the Revolutionary War and continued to operate into the early 20th century. This bridge erected in 2006 replaces an iron truss span built by the American Bridge Company in 1901. The earlier bridge was part of the Taylor's Mill Historic District, which includes the remaining mills, ruins, Miller's House, and Mill Race. Now that's pretty interesting. We just came from that.
clear the water is. It's really clear. This is nice. Well, we had a really nice day exploring today. We did a lot of historical sites, a lot of trails, a lot of preserves, a lot of mountains, creeks, everything. It was really a nice day. The sun came out, came out to at least 58 degrees. Anyway, we're over here at Cold Creek Preserve and we're going to do some more hiking during sunset and then we're going to head back to our car. You guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. On to our next adventure! Yay! Yay!